Hi, today I would like to show you some of the key features of Synergy Sky Connect, the cloud video interop allowing you to have seamless SIP to Microsoft Teams meetings. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to schedule, join, and manage your video meetings. All video meetings start with an invitation, whether you're the recipient of an invitation or the organizer. What I'm about to show you can be done with your existing setup and calendaring system. Let me demonstrate how you can schedule your meetings. There are three ways this can be done through your calendar, Outlook or Google Calendar, through Microsoft Teams, or directly on the touch panel. Let's say I want to schedule a Microsoft Teams meeting using Outlook. All I've got to do is add the participants and the room where the meeting takes place. And there you go. The meeting has now been scheduled. Alternatively, you can be the recipient of a Microsoft Teams invitation, no matter whether it's internal or external. I just received an invite from my colleague. I will now forward it to the meeting room I want. I now select the name of the meeting room I want, in this case, Tour, press Send, and there you go. All I've got to do now is press the green button to join the meeting. Connect also allows you to book the room and video meeting on your desired platform directly on the touch panel. First, you need to select the length of the meeting. That's now done. You can now add participants from the directory. Let's say I want to invite my colleague Vedia. There you go. Add selected participants. That's it. Your ad hoc booking will now start. I would now like to introduce some of the interactivity features available in Connect. These features make your SIP endpoint act like a Microsoft Teams room. All you've got to do is click on the People Actions button on your touch panel. On the People tab, you can see a list of participants. You get a visual cue on which participants have raised their hand, are muted, or are sharing their screen. In addition to that, you can pin a certain participant or feed it to frame. On the Meeting Control tab, you can select one of the three layout controls and choose to raise and lower your hand. Let's try Large Gallery, for example. There you go. Now, let's say I want to raise my hand. I press the button and it is now also visible. I would now like to show you how you can do presentation sharing with Connect. In this scenario, I'm joining this meeting with my Cisco device and I'm joined by multiple participants in their respective devices. Now, if I want to start sharing presentation, in this case, I've decided to go for a cable. All I have to do is go to the touch panel, click share, share and call. It is now instantly visible to all participants. Let's stop sharing. For demo purposes, let me show you how a participant of the meeting could do presentation sharing from their Teams client. They can now select the presentation that they want, leveraging PowerPoint Live. There you go. Everyone in the meeting can now see this PowerPoint. As you see, with Connect, there are no surprises, no black screens, no unpredictabilities. What you see in your end is what other participants see in theirs. Thank you for watching.